Okay guys, I'm here in Modesto with this three barrel system for collecting rainwater that I built. Um, some of you might have seen the pictures or remember me talking about it. But we've actually had a whole bunch of rains these past few weeks, which is really great to see uh, exactly how this system is working and to see if it will hold up when there's actually water flowing into it. So of course we tested it with the hose when we set it up, but I mean, when it's not actually raining, you can't see how it's gonna actually work when the event of a large downpour. So after these first rains is the perfect time to come back and uh, troubleshoot the systems and do the finishing touches to make them functioning perfect. So during the heavy downpour, the client noticed that it was flooding in this area here. And uh, that's a really simple fix. That's because we had to move the downspout from this way, which was uh, originally draining off, off over there. Um, so we wanted to move it so we could put the system over here because all of uh, this equipment is here. So we wanted to move the downspout to the other side and put the barrels right there. And now the downspout would be draining here, which ended up having a lower grade here and filled this with water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hose and we're just gonna run it to drain out the front here. And we're gonna just attach it here and screw it in real, real nice, make it sturdy and secure. Okay, so that was an easy fix. Just put this uh, tube that the client had and uh, secured it with a little screw so that's not gonna come off at all. And the uh, overflow will just go on down and uh, drain right here along the fence and out to the street instead of uh, flooding here. So that was an easy fix. The next thing is that the uh, barrels were not collecting uh, as much water as we had originally thought they would. So I wanted to get here while it was raining so I could uh, see it in action, but um, it's not raining now. So I'm just gonna set the, uh, the hose up there into the gutter and just see what I can see how, how the water's flowing down. So this one actually turned out to be an easy fix too. Um, we have this piece in the system, which um, has a ring that goes around the downspout to catch the water that falls along here. And the issue was that these barrels weren't filling up and that the water that was supposed to be going through here was end up coming through here. Um, when I first hooked it up, it was really gushing out of here. Now it's just a little trickle. Um, what I did to check was I took this off here to see how the water came out. And uh, it turned out that this piece, uh, which was a net that was in here, was uh, covered with a whole bunch of gunk that was blocking the flow. So I just took it out and you can see that now the water is flowing how it's supposed to. And you can hear it entering in the barrel. So. so that's one of the greatest things about these systems is that they're super easy to uh, maintain. Um, as you saw, both of those were easy fixes and I was there for about 15 minutes. And now the system's working optimally. Um, so we'll see. When the rains come, we'll see how it acts during the heavy downpour. It's one thing to have the, the hose on it for 10 minutes versus if it's raining for four hours. And um, if needed, we might, you know, make make uh, additional changes at that point. Uh, but I have a, I think it's gonna work pretty good now. So, um, yeah, it's just very important to start collecting your own rainwater water is life um, and right now most of the water that lands on your roof is being wasted so you can you know save money on your water bill you can help save the planet by rebuilding the water table and you can save your garden by giving plants uh, water that they actually love instead of using you know treated city water so it's just stuff to think about and uh, I hope you guys uh, can learn something from this